Oh my god. You're like not even on it. We're going like 20 <laughs> miles an hour. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to play with the new Mercedes AMG. We are going to install blow off valves, also known as VTAs. And I'm not gonna pretend like I know exactly what that means scientifically, but I know this guy does. I'll pretend, I'll pretend the best I can. So okay. the car is a V8 twin turbo. So when uh, you accelerate, the turbos build up pressure, they build up pounds of boost. When you come off the gas, all that pressure has to get released. So what they do is they typically vent the air back into your intake so you don't hear it, it's not so loud and obnoxious. And uh, usually most consumers prefer that. So what we're gonna do is get rid of that tubing and we're gonna vent that air to the atmosphere, VTA. VTA. And this is, uh, and these are from uh, Victory Road Performance, uh, VRP. Um, They're on Instagram too, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. So um, you can go follow them if you want to see what they do. So we are going to get started on, actually, are we gonna start this up first? Yeah, we'll start it up, we'll yeah. rev it a little bit, and that way you could hear what it sounds like stock, and then hopefully we should be able to hear some kind of difference. Hopefully, Hopefully. Uh, after they're installed. So, <laughs> I hope so. Uh, it's sun's gonna start to go down, but it's hot out now, so I'm gonna try and go as fast as we can. So first thing we do is open up the hood. And, oh no, first we have to like rev it, right? Yeah, let's rev. The keys. Right here. Here, you gotta just, uh, you gotta get these fingers here. Lift it back up. See, it's just all, pretty much if you just use these two fingers. Okay. And you, see, it's just the power of these two. Oh, it's just, uh, so there's no, like, button? I was looking for Right here, you wanna just hit that thing. Okay. So why did you marry me? It was my hood, hood latch release technique. <laughs> so, the hood is open, cause Chris has magic fingers. But I kind of want to point something out while he grabs some tools. I don't know if you know this. If you're into AMGs, maybe you do. But their mantra, kind of mantra, is one man, one engine. And it actually is signed by the gentleman that built the engine to this car. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. I think it's pretty cool. So it's right here. I think it's Andreas. Did you know that? Possibly, uh, or Andrew. Uh, crazy thing is, so I ended up reaching out to Andreas. Um, who built it and uh, he was the first, he's from Germany, first blind builder who's also got a gold medal, gold medal on the bobsled team. And most people don't know that Germany has an amazing bobsled organization and uh, really great guy. Does it all by feel, can't see anything. So it's crazy, but the more you know. But that is still very cool. All right, so the adapters are gonna be down here. They appear to be, uh, it's gonna be fun to try to get them out. So um, to get the screws off. But anyway, these hoses go back into the intakes. These are two intakes here, so we're gonna try and get these things off here. Is it still righty-tighty in uh, Germany? Especially considering a blind man built our engine, Christopher. Yeah. We should also post that the temperature out here right now is like 100 degrees. <laughs> oh, there we go. The lighting hosing just got stuck. Is that German? Hi. Things are always easier on the DIYs on YouTube. Why did it not come off? They say, oh, it'd be real fast, real fast. I don't even know what nationality you're speaking right now. Yeah, these are the rubber tubes we just got off. It took a lot of muscle, and we had to work together, but we got them off, both of them. Okay. So the drill bit that we have doesn't fit to finish the job, so we have to still get these little guys on. So we so the are problem going... is this. Okay, this is the problem. There's a very small area to get that Torx bit off. So when I put this... I can't see your face. ...in there to try to turn it, this is too long, so it needs to be shortened. So we need to eliminate some of this stuff. So I have to get uh, just a thinner socket to hold this Torx bit. 
Um, or maybe like one of those screwdrivers with a little bendy thing where you like get it on there and like twist it. I don't know if that'll be enough power, but otherwise we just have to run Home Depot and get something else that'll fit in there and uh, do it. So that's where we're at. So eventually we will get that bit and finish the car. So we'll get that done. So we just got the one off that was over here. And Chris is working on getting the other one off. The tools are not our friends right now. German engineering at its worst. I just texted uh, Andreas and uh, I just kind of was ribbing him a little bit for his job building this engine. What's <laughs> crazy is he actually has uh, fangioliitis. It's a reverse of large swelling of hands. He has very tiny hands. In, in Germany, most people don't realize that Germans actually have much smaller hands than uh, people in the U.S. They're typically about one-fifth the size, and that's why it's so compact and tight in here. The more you know. I have to admit, you do look like you're dancing. I'm in a rhythm right now. You are. I can see it. Don't lose focus. You're making that look sexy. Look at those hips move. Yeah, buddy. Yay. Do you need my tiny little fingers? Oh yeah, guys, look, so we put the towel in here because it wouldn't, things wouldn't fall to the bottom, so we didn't want to lose these screws, they're very important. So we put the towel in here to block things from falling down. We have down. to reuse those screws. Yes. Got it. All right, rip that other hose off. All right, ready? Ooh, there it goes. Do a good job. Need, uh, it should be noted that I also chipped a nail. Kind of stinks. Okay, so we got one already on. When I say we, I mean Chris. Baby, you're doing a good job. I will tell you one thing. Holding this camera, it is a big job. This camera is actually really heavy. I mean, who do you think is working harder, me or Chris? Okay, so this is what we got. We took two pipes out. There was one that went from here to here, and another one that went from here zip to here. Zip tie real quick. Okay, um, so we put these little caps on both sides, but I like it. I think it looks clean and sharp, and I can't wait to hear what sound it makes. What do we do now? I'm always paranoid. I left like a screwdriver or something. So. Oh God. <laughs> so we revved it up in the driveway and we were like, I think it sounds a little louder. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> yes. I love that. It's like real loud. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I love it. This is a good idea. Comment below. Let us know if you think it's a good idea. I love that sound. I don't really care if you think it's a good idea, but I love it. <laughs> I love this car. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. One more? Okay, one more. Oh wait, there's a lady walking. She's not gonna be happy. She's gonna be mad. She'll be so mad. She'll be so mad. <laughs> Act normal. We're totally acting. We're totally acting normal. Don't Same. be suspicious. Don't, Don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, oh my god, it like... does it like every time. Oh boy. <laughs> Watch. Just a couple of children acting like children. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> oh my god. You're like not even on it. We're going like 20 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. It sounds so good. It does. I'm actually really happy about this. This is awesome. Okay, so let us know what you think about our new blow-off valves. 
and comment below and let us know what you think of the sound. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys on the next one. Why are you screaming? I don't know, because I feel like screaming. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>